1945 to 1975. Japan-Soviet relationships are poisoned by the Soviet occupation of the Kuril Islands. Hence, the two countries have not been able to ratify a formal peace treaty since the end of World War II. 1979 to 1980. The Soviet Union increases troops and naval assets in the Kuril area. Japan retaliates by hardening its stance towards the USSR and increasing its military spending. 1982. Japan allows the deployment of U.S. advanced F-16 bombers on its soil. The USSR answers by transferring SS-20 missiles from Europe. 1983. The Japanese Prime Minister declares his intent to turn Japan into an unsinkable aircraft carrier. The reply from the USSR is immediate. In an era of modern technology, unsinkable aircraft carriers do not exist. November 1984, the joint U.S.-Japanese naval exercise Fleet X-85 in the Sea of Japan gets as close as 500 nautical miles from Vladivostok. The Soviet fleet is put on high alert. December 4, 1984, Fleet X ends, but Soviet Navy intelligence and the Politburo are convinced that it was just a rehearsal for a real imminent strike. The green light is given for a preemptive strike on Japan and its U.S. naval bases. December 6, 1984. When the coded message, Climb Mount Norodnaya, is transmitted to Soviet forces, several airborne and naval infantry divisions are ready to strike Japan. At dawn, the first wave of Soviet paratroopers lands on Japan, while a mechanized thrust strikes from the Kuril Islands.